Hi friends, welcome to Real Numbers Part 3. Today we are going to discuss some problems, few problems related to units digit in the expansion of exponents by, by using prime factorization method. Before going to the topic, see if the given number is must be divisible by uh, by 10, how many it is possible if the last digit of the given number is 0, then only it is possible. Yes, we know already the derivative principle of 10. Yes, and here t can be 10 can be written as here 10 is the, for example, if we consider 10, 10 can be written as 2 into 5. Yes, if I take 20. This can, what is the prime factorization of 20? Is it divisible by 10? Yes, of course. So, and also the prime factorization of 20 is 2 into 2 into 5. If I take 30, the prime factorization of 30 is 2 into 3 into 5. Yes, is it? Yes. Now, in this uh, aspect, if you observe, what are the common factors in these are 2 and also 5. Yes, that means if the given number must be divided by 10, then 2 and 5 are the factors. Then only the given number is divisible by 10. For suppose if I consider 25. The prime fraction 25 is 5 into 5. Now see, is 25 divided by 10? No. And also observe the prime factors of 25, only 5, it is not 2. Yes? So that if the given number is divisible by 10, then the number must have compulsory, they must have two factors. So two factors are 2 and 5. Similarly, if you take consider 6 power, here my question is observed. 6 power n, check whether 6 power n can end with digit 0 for any natural number n. So, it must have digit, unit digit 0, it is possible by observing the prime factorization of 6. See, 6 power n can be written as, what is the prime factorization of 6? 2 into 3. What is the power of n? Here, what are the prime factors? Here, 2 and 3 are the factors. It has only 2 as prime factor. According to our motto, we must, this must have 5 as a common factor. Yes? But here, 5 is not a factor of 6 power n. So, is it end with a uh, digit 0? So, 6 power n cannot end with uh, 0 for any natural number n. For any, any natural number n. Yes, understood? If we consider another example, for example, uh, 4 power n, we are checking whether 4 power n is n with 0 or not. What is that? 4 to the power of n. And write the prime factorization of 4 to the power of n. It can be written as 4 can be written as 2 into 2. Yes? 4 can be written as 2 into 2. So, 4 to the power of n can be written as 2 into 2, 4 to the power of n. That is equal to square for the power of n that is equal to the power of 2n. Now how many factors it has? In the expansion of 4 power n, it has only 2 as common, only it has 2 as a factor. It has 2, it has a factor 2. It has a factor 2. Yes? It must be end with 0, then 
if it has five also one side then only it must then it is possible to hit the the last digit is zero see here in this only two is a factor here is no five here five is not a factor five is not a factor of four to the power of n five is not a factor of four to the power of n so four power n also not end with zero yes understood here the for example if i consider from the power of n is it uh, end with zero yes obviously of course in this expand in this uh, fronting base uh, there is last uh, digit as zero so that it ends with zero not only that we can confirm like this because 10 will be 2 into 10 for the power of n so that it ends with zero understood